Over many centuries, there's been unrest on Ninja Math Island. But the day has come to decide who is the greatest math ninja. Enter Ninja Math Island and take on your friends in the dreaded math pit to decide who will rule the world's fiercest land. To play Ninja Math Island, you will need four mini ninja figurines, one Shinobi Hunter card, one Missa Ninja card, two counters, a dice, and a set of victory and defeat cards. To play Ninja Math Island, you simply roll the dice and move that many spaces. If you land on an empty space, such as space three, you're safe, and it's the next person's go. If you roll the dice and move that many spaces onto the spin space, then you must spin the operation spinner to find out what operation you'll use and then the two number spinners whatever operation is use that to solve the problem if you get it correct it is the next person's go and the game continues if you get it incorrect you will miss your next turn if a player lands on a math pit space they must enter the dreaded math pit to help you remember where you came from, you must then place a counter on the math pit space you came from. Once in the math pit, the player must wait for another player to land on any of the math pit spaces. Both players will then face off in battle. One player will spin the operation spinner. Each player will then spin a number spinner and will compete to answer the resulting question correctly first. It is the best two out of three. If you win the challenge and your opponent was further ahead of you, you switch places with them. If not, you return to your place. If you come from the same math pit space, the losing player must miss their next turn. Playing at the advanced level, you will receive a victory card when you win in the math pit and you will receive a defeated card if you lose in the math pit. And usually the victory card brings something good and the defeated card brings something bad. If a card has a genin head on it, it must be played immediately. If it has a supreme masuta head, then it may be played later in the game. If you land on the heroic Shinobi Hunter space, you will take the Shinobi Hunter card. If you land on either the Missing Ninja or the Shinobi Hunter space, after you collect your card, you must return back to the start. The Shinobi Hunter has one goal in life, that is to hunt Missing Ninja. If the Shinobi Hunter lands on the same space as the Missing Ninja, the missing ninja will return to the start and lose all of their missing ninja powers as well as their missing ninja card. If you are playing advanced play rules, the shinobi hunter will also receive a victory card and a bonus roll. If you land on the lovable rogue missing ninja space, a ninja who likes to play by his own rules, you will become the missing ninja. The missing ninja likes to get up to mischief. So if he lands on the space of a person who doesn't own the Shinobi Hunter card, then that person will get sent back to the start. There can be only one missing ninja and one Shinobi Hunter. So once someone has claimed those cards, they become regular spaces. There are a lot of questions about how the shinobi hunter and missing ninja are to interact and those are answered in the frequently asked questions section of the rules to win the game you must roll the exact amount to land on the finish space there are bounce backs 